Okay guys, uh, this is part two of my um, port job. At this point, um, I've already installed, as you can see, I installed the um, aluminum intake, 15 millimeter aluminum intake. Uh, I was able to um, take the gasket, the gasket didn't line up. Uh, there was still restriction in airflow uh, for the gasket, so what I did actually was just used a, a little bit a little sander, I don't know if you can see that, a little sanding thing, um, and I, I just went around it until it was uh, perfect in there. So now you have a, a perfect uh, perfect hole going all the way through there, and in the cylinder everything is smooth, everything is nice and ready. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to oil up everything, put oil like uh, it comes from the factory, um, and also the exhaust, uh, I sanded that down and everything. Um, this is very, the whole inside of this is very, very smooth. I just uh, widened it barely, but um, it was better. You know, there were some jagged edges on uh, how they come from the casting in the factory. So uh, this is going to be a cool experiment. We're learning together. And uh, hopefully this motor is uh, going to run very smoothly and hopefully a little bit faster with the parts that we're putting on. So this is a... Um, this is the engine here. Uh, this, uh, there's a measurement on my website where I've actually uh, measured it. And uh, you can tell this is a, a PK80. It's a real PK80 because uh, the distance in between the bottom of this and where the uh, hole is, uh, that's five point something millimeter. And if it's um, seven millimeter, that's a, I believe that's a GT5 um, engine but this indicates that it is a uh, PK80 um, and this is actually a new kind of uh, rod I'm still researching this but it says JSF50 so if anybody knows what kind of rod that is uh, just uh, message me or leave some kind of comment below um, let's see if we can get a better picture here I don't know if you saw that but uh, that's what I was saying to measure the inside of this to the bottom of the bottom of the piston there. I don't know if you could see that. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this, and um, what we'll do after that, I'm going to mount it on the bike, and we'll get uh, the rest of the sprocket and gas tank and stuff mounted, and uh, we'll take it for a test ride. So we'll see you in a bit. Again, this is Adrian from uh, DFWMotorizedBikes.com. Uh, or you can join us on Facebook group. Uh, just uh, subscribe to uh, DFW Motorized Bikes. Or um, if you're looking for bicycles or parts or anything like that, you can go to uh, McCargiecycles.com. Thank you.